Hi there, welcome to my channel. So I've just literally got back to my hotel room from a marketing conference. So I think I've mentioned to you guys before that I'm in the market research industry. So over today and tomorrow, the two days, we will be attending a conference just to learn new things, to know what's happening in the industry, to know how better we can gain insight from customers and consumers and all that sort of thing. So today was a really good first day. I took a lot from it. I took lots of notes. I'm that person that will sit there taking notes and taking pictures of the slides <laughs> that are um, that's being talked about. So I basically got some, some goodies. So this is the bag that all my goodies were in. They're all over the bed now. So I'll be showing you guys some of the goodies that I got. So in here I've just got some brochures and magazines and that sort of thing and some pens. But anyway. So I got this little cool cart, trolley, whatever you want to call it. I saw it and it's my favourite colour and I thought, oh my goodness, my daughter would absolutely love this. She already has one but this is a mini one and she likes all things mini, which is good. So, they, so I've got that, then I've also got this, not quite sure what it is, let me just have a read. Oh, okay, so it's, uh, where's my phone? my phone so it's a phone holder I think you're supposed to, yeah you stick your phone to it and you place it and it kind of just it acts as a phone stand that's pretty cool I received this which is basically a screen wipe so I'll be using that for my phone and for my camera <laughs> so it's pretty cool and you can fold it up neatly and put it into this pouch that's here which I'm struggling with. I'm gonna do it. There you go, just about. <laughs> I have these little key rings. This one's a whale. I think I'm gonna give this one to my son and this cow to my daughter and they can put it onto their school bag. Anyway, I got these sweets. Um, I don't eat sweets. My kids don't really eat sweets, so I'll be throwing them away. But this plastic container type thing, that this one comes in I will be keeping for my business card. It, I don't think there'll be a lot of space really in there. I think it'll probably hold about 10. My business card is quite thick. I was complimented on it several times today. I have lots of cool, lots of just standard notepads which come in handy. So I, I have several notepads all for different things. I have one notepad that's generally for miscellaneous things but other than that most of my notepads have a specific subject in there be it health recipes whatever it is i have a specific one for each so these are two here and then i have this little cool notepad it comes with mini post-it notes so when i have clients call me i can quickly jot down the message or what i need to do and yeah so that will definitely come in handy I have also got more screen wipers. <laughs> if you want any of these, tell me because I've got too many. You probably won't want any anyway. I'm just saying. So, oh, what else do we have? Right, so I visited this booth and there were two guys there. So I started talking to them and just telling them a bit about the company and what we do and what services we could we offer. And we had a pretty long conversation. And one of the guys, he started rummaging in his cabinet thing, rummaging. And I was thinking, what is he doing? He comes out and he gives me the $20 um, of Starbucks vouchers. Now, I don't even often go into Starbucks, but with these vouchers, I sure will. And then I've got this. The lady did uh, mention to me, so it's basically glasses, but they use this for a lot of market research studies. So sometimes when, um, respondents are maybe we're doing some sort of ethnography most of you probably won't understand what that is that's basically when we follow a customer or consumer or respondent around the store as they make their purchases and it kind of helps you to kind of know what exactly they're looking at so it's eye tracking really i don't think this is 
exactly the eye track in one but she, the lady did say to me I should put it on I've ripped the packaging I think I did that incorrectly but she said I should put it on and then get something on YouTube and watch it through the glasses looking forward to trying that out so that's it there and what else more sweets which I won't be eating and I've got headphones now these are just standard headphones I'm not really keen on them but I will be using them because I am forever searching for headphones and then I got a t-shirt so when I was picking up this t-shirt the lady said to me oh the the smalls are around the corner I said no I actually like the bigger ones because I like my t-shirts to come up baggy on me because it's just so much more comfortable I have got this key ring ring which I quite like it would have been good if they just made it into a ring and key ring stroke uh, bottle opener there and oh and there was this guy that did a seminar and he talked about research and how they overcame certain issues during the research he also spoke about uh, <laughs> Vagisil yeah research and all the men literally they were going red I don't know why they found it so uncomfortable but they didn't like it I was sitting next to a guy and his head was down the whole time and he just wasn't trying to make eye contact with the guy speaker or with anyone else for that matter oh and I got this it's just yeah my husband had this and I didn't really like it, it seems to be the new thing now so it's basically a pouch like so that you stick on the back of your phone which i seem to have lost again you stick it on the back of your phone and then you can put your cards and stuff there but i don't really like the way they look i think they look a bit tacky so i won't be sticking that on my phone so just to show you guys what i wore today this dress is from biba um, and i purchased it from house of frasers in oxford circus it was on sale I think it was maybe about 45 but it's a nice little dress and the back is a bit low thank you guys for watching 